So I was going to be building a habitat for the Adax, the Arabian Onyx, and for the Fennec Foxes, because I love Fennec Foxes ever since I found them on the Nexus. And then I thought, what's going to be the perfect way to have all of these animals in a fun habitat? Oh yeah, let's build a giant snake skeleton, because why not? So that's what we're going to be building today. A giant snake skeleton. Yeah, it might be nightmare fuel. So, yeah, let's just say that looking up snake skeletons for this build made me realize that snake skeletons in itself are already nightmare fuel because their jaws don't connect, or at least their lower jaw is... Well, if you wanted to see something that looks like an alien, just look up a snake skeleton. If you want real nightmare fuel, look up fantasy monsters. You get a lot of things with a lot of eyes and a lot of mouths. But yeah, I didn't realize that snake skeletons, or at least the jaws of snakes, don't connect when it comes to the lower jaw. So I also have to preface this video by saying I have, or preface this video, not preface, preface this video. Thank you, no English knowledge. But I have to preface this video by saying I've never built a skeleton before, which is kind of wild for somebody that has a zoo basically dedicated to, well, murder, but the murdery aspect of Cannabishire has gone down a bit, it's now more brothels and such, but yeah, never built a skeleton before, also this skeleton is huge. I already mentioned that, but I wanted to have like some kind of historic vibe to Cannabishire because everything is kind of new every ruin that I've built I've deleted because it just didn't fit so I didn't want to go with the ruins aspect although that was the idea when I started and then the snake skeleton got added and then the ruins disappeared but yeah I just wanted that sort of historical vibe so I wanted this huge skeleton just lying in the sands of Canal Shah and then also yeah this snake uh, but ends up looking a little bit like a fish at least when you look at the skeleton, because I made segments of the skeleton, which of course go from kind of wider to small. But in the end, just how it's going to look here before I put it in Canon Shire, kind of looks like a fish. Just kind of. But uh, yeah, also this thing could probably swallow your house. Yeah, it's as big as some of the houses that I've built. So just imagine that this thing was once alive purring through the sands. Also, for some reason, I wanted to mix the snake idea with a vulture. Didn't work out as well in the end. It, like, I now have this, like, sort of pointy bit at the front. Not the huge fangs, because those will stay, of course, because I want something that you can just uh, think of when it was alive, how huge those fangs would be. But yeah, the pointy tip that's right now on the head is going to go away, but I just wanted to have like that kind of vulture aspect because I wanted this to be nightmare fuel. At least, not really nightmare fuel for me. I think because I've seen too many snake skeletons right now and that fantasy monster thing on pinterest was just i'm not joking it even for me it was just like that's too many eyes and that's too many mouths and also how did you come up with that but anyway so the reason for not having ruins was just didn't look right for canal bashar like a city that's completely obsessed with appearance they wouldn't let ruins just stay but a huge snake skeleton i want to make like the banner for like canal shower or the crest for royal or canal shower is it a crest i think it is it's like the thing that they paint on shields and put on banners but i kind of imagine that there would be a snake on there it would also be purple for those that haven't noticed that i have redone all of the thumbnails for canal bashar season 3 and Valhalla and I've basically given them different colors based on the series so Cannabishar is purple because of course it is it's fabulous and Valhalla is blue so basically you can look at the thumbnail and immediately know well I think you can already know right from the bed which series it is or which project because Cannabishar thumbnails look just different overall when it comes to how proud and red they are also, I 
I said that I changed all of Keanu Bashar's screenshots and such to be more dark blue toned. I was wrong. It's actually cyan toned. Also, it's really fun <laughs> to just open and close the mouth of this skeleton. You will see me do that probably quite a lot of times while building because it's just fun. Because it just looks like a... well... <laughs> Why is the only thing that came to my mind jump jump? <laughs> there was another one that I... Um... Pac-Man, that was it. That's also probably going to mess up the sound of the recording because I just screamed Pac-Man. I uh, might change that in the editing process, but uh, also gave it more horns. Vulture thing is going to go away, but the horns stay. Because, of course, I want a huge kind of a dragon snake by this point. With a vulture beak, but again, the vulture beak is going to go. But I just like the idea that these things are now extinct, but once were roaming the desert surrounding Kian al -Bashar. Just imagine that, you're just walking through the desert, and then just this huge snake thing just comes out of nowhere and swallows you all. <laughs> well, you probably won't unveil it, because those fangs are like, they are huge, so you would just go right through them, but everything else would be, yeah. Uh, Jump, jump. Yeah, you think the murdery aspect of Khan al Bashar was nightmare fuel? No, this thing. Because it would just burrow through the sand. You wouldn't see it until it was too late. Well, you would probably see the spikes on top of its head. And then, it's basically a sand snake now that I think about it. Or at least that's how I imagine it. It just, yeah, it's a sand snake. Or a shark. Uh, I want sharks in Planet Zoo. I want a whole aquarium DLC actually, or ocean DLC, but there's a video coming on that one. Because for once, I'm up to schedule. <laughs> and so I'm going to, I don't know, sit back and relax. I don't know this feeling of being relaxed. It's strange. Anyway, I should continue talking about Snake Skeleton. Nah, I think I've t talked already enough. Also, if you put a Snake Skeleton down, from what I saw, it just sort of flat like snake skeletons are just weird and i've spent way too m much time looking at them also my friendly fbi guy who is watching everything on my computer is probably terrified of me because i also had to research why are bones that are like you know old bones why do they turn brown and then i found out that bones well they re not recolor, they stain with whatever is in the vicinity, so most of the time... I think brown bones are because there's like iron in the ground surrounding it, so they turn brown or they just... There's things in the ground and they stain the bones. Yeah, I just took that as an excuse as well, because first of all, I wanted a brown snake skeleton, but then also, I didn't want to use the basic art pieces to make a skeleton, because then it would be you know, perfectly white, which is usually how you see them in museums. But I didn't want those. I wanted something rough looking, so I went with, oh yeah, bones, old bones are brown. Then I also discovered that bones can be black and green and yellow and a lot of other colors, because again, it's completely dependent on the soil and what's surrounding the bones when they are, you know, decaying, so yeah. My Google search history is probably just as much nightmare fuel as looking up fantasy monsters on Pinterest. Uh, well, at least there's all of the ways that you could poison someone. And drugs. I should probably give context to the la latter one. <laughs> because there's probably people who are watching this video right now and haven't seen that video. But for one video, I had to look up what opium looks like when you know poppies and such and so i had to look that up like i had to look up something that's for the video it all makes sense let me just say that it, i'm i'm not talking myself out of this one am i but yeah i had to look up a uh, uh, hallucinogenic that at small doses is kind of like a drug and then at large doses it's deadly so now it probably makes sense for Khan al-Bashar because it's like, it's happy, happy, happy death. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, so I, when it came to the skeleton, because I'm quickly moving away from that topic, which, uh, I mean, I am immortal when it comes to demonetization. I've put boobs in the thumbnail. I've talked about murder, human sacrifice, death, and 
all of it, and I still have never gone demonetized. So I I wish I was joking here because it's still like I'm sad that I like I want to get demonetized just once. But anyway, so I wanted it to look like the snake just sort of leaped onto the plateau and died there. I also think that this is a juvenile snake monster thing. Also, yes, of course I made the skull into the sleeping area for the Adax and the Arabian, o on Arabian Onyx. I probably am not uh, remembering that name correctly. Also, there are all of the animals in this habitat are again mods. I will put the link to the mods in the description like I always do. But yeah, I also wanted to put flowers on it. I mean, kind of sharp. It's deadly and beautiful, which means snake skeleton with flowers. I also wanted to give it a flower crown because why not? But I end up not doing that and it's kind of a weird build, at least for me, because I can't do that much with foliage and such because this is supposed to be the gorge. This is the desert area and I did make a kind of fun addition to the back of the plateau with like a bandit camp, maybe? Yes, because I found out that the Adax and the Arabian Onyx don't really use the plateau as much, but the Fennec Fox do like to sit on that plateau for some reason, which is probably because they are good animals. They use the things that I place for them and don't go crazy. How many times did those Adax escape? So many times. And yeah, I just really like Fennec Foxes. Like ever since I found that mod and saw how fluffy they are in Planet Zoo. Yes, I want them. But that's not really any news to you. Like I like things that are weird, fluffy, cute and you know... The Fennec Fox is just the best combination of those. They are tiny, have huge ears and huge tails for their body size, are extremely fluffy, and they just, just look at those faces. I still also want sand cats. If you don't know about sand cats, look them up. They are basically kittens for their entire life. They are wild animals, but they are adorable. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the Adexes uh, continued to escape, the Arabian Onyx was kind of just there. And they really like, like half of this habitat is completely in shadow. And they for some reason just love to stay there. They don't really come out to the snake skeleton that often. But then, who would come out to the snake skeleton? It's like, um, again, this is supposed to be like a juvenile giant snake. Next habitat is going to have a full grown one so just think about how huge that one is going to be yeah i'm building nightmare fuel i fully realized that but i'm i should probably kind of like hint towards the next video here which i've made a video the well actually i don't know for sure i have multiple ideas for videos so it's either the next build in the gorge or it's going to be another rent video because I can do both because again I am up to schedule and maybe even ahead of schedule so I can you know I have everything set ready for both of those videos but anyway that's going to be it for today's video I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did there is the like button I for some reason can't properly talk anymore but there is the like button if you want to see more there's the subscribe button and there's the notification button but before that one starts working i won't be building nightmare fuel anyway have a amazing day guys